Clay Travis is proof of that. He's one of the parents who spoke out to the school board, to their faces. He's a busy man. He's the host of the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show. He's also the founder of Outkick.com, one of the only websites covering sports and politics that you would want to read. He joins us tonight. Clay, thanks so much for coming on. So I love the clip. I know it was a much longer uh, speech that you gave, and God bless you for doing it. Um, and it was entirely fact-based. The reaction from the other people in the room really struck me. What is your <laughs> sense of where parents are right now with what's happening in schools? First, Tucker, thanks for having me. Second, we're in the middle of what I think is a grassroots mobilizing parent movement to take back this country. I, I know that there are a lot of people out there frustrated because the reaction that I saw demonstrated that. And where we are in Williamson County, I think there are countless people all over the country who feel the same way that we do, that we have to go right to the root, right? Tucker, you've got a television show. I've got a radio show. We make good livings doing our jobs. But the most important job we have is being a parent, being a mom, being a dad. And I think what happened during COVID is many parents became aware of what their kids were being taught. Look, I'm a public school kid, Tucker. I went to Nashville City Public Schools, K through 12. My kids, two of them are in public schools right now. I want for them to fit in in the society and make the world a better place. Amen. But it has to be a fact-based reality, and right now it isn't. And I'm excited about how many parents are now rising up. Over 1,000 people, Tucker, showed up at that school board meeting here just outside of Nashville to combat the decisions being made by the board. I think that's the only way. I mean, you have been engaged in this, and other people have for the last year, trying to reason with the people in charge of the schools, from the Biden administration, to the teachers unions, to the school boards, to the teachers, and say, look, this is poison. You can't create two, you know, Tootsies and Hutus in America. Like, you'll wreck the country. And they just won't listen. I mean, I don't think there is another option other than for parents to say no more. That is the option, Tucker. I'd encourage everybody out there. I'm saying this is a mom-led revolution because if you look at the crowd, moms have had a lot put up on them for the last 18 months. They had to bear the brunt of childcare when we had 15 days to stop the spread, Tucker. Uh, and they are just fed up with it. And they yes. are leading this charge. And that's what I'd encourage everybody to do. Speak out, go to the grassroots, confront your school board members, demand that they use fact-based analysis, and right. we will win. I'm telling you, Tucker, we're going to win. I can see it. It's going to grow and spread and become even bigger than it already is. The anti-mask, the anti-CRT, it may well be the new Tea Party. Boy, I hope you. That's the first hopeful thing I've heard in a while. Clay Travis, I sure appreciate your coming on tonight and for doing that. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.